No plugin is needed for this underwater music effect in Final Cut Pro. It's super fast and simple to make, so let's get straight to the point and jump to my timeline in Final Cut Pro. I will first show you how to create this underwater effect on your music track and in the end of this video I will also give you a pro tip that is a bit more advanced but will really enhance your underwater effect so make sure to watch this video till the end. As you can see I have this project here and I have a number of video clips. First there are two clips above the surface and then there are two clips under the surface. And finally there is another clip above the surface. Under the video clips you can see that I have a music score and I want the music to sound differently for the clips above the surface and the clips under the surface. So what I've done already is that I have chopped this music track into three parts that correlates with the video clips. As you can hear the music sounds the same across all three parts right now. What you want to do next is go down to the effects and search for muffled. I drag this effect to the part of the music that I want to be muffled. Depending on your music tracks and the effect you want to achieve, you can have some different settings here. I will use muffled clean and I will increase the amount to 80. When we play the score again, you can hear that there is this prominent underwater sound effect on the music track. So that's basically how you do it, but as I promised in the beginning of the video, I will show you a pro tip that makes this effect even more noticeable. And it still doesn't need any plugin. So what you want to do is that you want to add different soundscapes. So for my clips above the surface, I want to use a sound that's called Water Ocean 2. I will now apply this sound to the clips that are above the surface. And then I search for a sound that's called water bubbles. And I will use the water bubble sound for the clips where I'm underwater. Let's listen to the sounds only without the music. I disable the music by pressing B. And now let's listen to the full result. As you can hear, it's not only the music that is different, but also the soundscape is different. I do my best to answer all questions, so if you have any questions regarding this, leave a comment down below. If you subscribe, you will really help me growing my channel and make more videos. Good luck with your video editing and thanks for watching!